Hey, Shalom. Shalom. All right. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kapadash. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honors and blessings to the elect. All right. Uh, you know, it's going to be sort of like a walk and talk, uh, getting a little exercise in, pre camp exercise, you know, before we go down to the line. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, forgive me. Um, you know, I don't have my scriptures because, you know, I'm recording. But, uh, you know, the Lord will not do the best uh, to quote scripture. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be an exhortation, man. You know, uh, the scriptures speak about exhorting one another as we see the day approaching. And uh, that day is indeed approaching rapidly. OK, but uh, what I wanted to discuss was do you view correction as an insult or an increase? Okay. Do you view correction as an insult or an increase? And uh, one thing that I found about being in this ministry and serving our Lord and Savior, uh, Yahweh Bashim Al is you're going to learn a lot about yourself. You know, you're going to learn a lot about yourself and who you are. That old man is, is going to be brought to the forefront, you know, for others to see and also for yourself to see. And um, it'll be it'll be corrected. There are certain things and characteristics about you that will surface that will be corrected. And uh, if you view it as an insult, then you're literally um, not taking the, the, the proper coaching in order to grow, okay? Uh, I myself, as well as a lot of other brothers, you know, we watch sports and boxing, things of that nature. And one thing that I find about manhood and masculinity, especially for those that are striving uh, in some type of competition, is there will always be corrective, constructive criticism, okay? And uh, those that take it well always tends to be those that uh that prosper in whatever craft they in so do you view when you're corrected as an insult or an increase you got to learn how to how to receive certain things about yourself um that may not you know be the 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 most um pleasing thing you've heard about yourself but if you take the criticism or the correction really according to the spirit, you know, then you can fine tune certain things or certain character flaws that you may have. Okay. Progress. Now remember, 48 percent. Duration. Like 10 minutes. Distance. 0 0.48 miles. Pace. 20 minutes. 44 seconds per mile. Voice coach disabled. Go premium to get feedback during the training. Yeah, well, I ain't going premium. <laughs> I definitely ain't doing that. You ain't getting my money. But uh, back to the subject at hand, uh, the scripture says who who uh, who the Lord, the Lord chastens. Um, uh, he dealing with us like sons and he chastens us as his son. And a part of that chastisement is going to be certain things that you get corrected about uh, dealing with yourself. OK, so you want to take that as a charge up. You want to take mental notes like, OK, I'm getting feedback from my performance, from certain things that I may have done. OK, certain uh, actions that I may have exhibited in the church. You know, the spirit of the Lord is using a brother to give me some form of feedback. And you may feel that certain things are unwarranted or is being improperly judged, whatever the case may be. OK. Uh, you may get got on, the camp may get got on about certain things and you probably haven't done that. So you still have to look at it as a recharge, as an increase. Okay. For instance, you know, I played, uh, basketball and football coming up and there were times where you would get cursed out just because of what the whole team did. It might not have been something you did. It probably was something that a couple of other knuckleheads did but the team have to suffer the same correction because it's a unit it's a unified body 
Okay, so it can happen like that in the spirit. That's why the scriptures speak about suffering uh, wrongfully about certain things. Okay, because you can still turn that into a lesson. Okay, you can still turn that into a valuable lesson for yourself to where you can learn from others, other mistakes. So if everything is an insult to you, how are you going to grow? Okay, how are you going to come up on the level? You know, yes, we're walking this truth, but the scriptures tell you, um, I heard a voice, uh, behind me saying, uh, uh, this is the way walk ye in it. Okay. When you go to the right or to the left. Okay. So we have to make sure that we're staying on this straight and skinny. Okay. This narrow path that leadeth to life because broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. All right. So we're on a straight path and there will be times that you will veer. Okay. And publicly. Okay. You may trip. You may slip in front of brothers. Say something you have no business saying. Do something you have no business doing. Okay. Being lukewarm. Okay. And it'll be bought to you. But it's all about if you view it as an insult or if you take it like, yeah, I'm going to grow off of that. The water. Okay, you, yeah, the scriptures tell you, um, well, how does that scripture go? Uh, correction, there, there you go, correction is grievous unto him that forsakes the way. So you have sti stiff neck individuals in this faith who they, they're not trying to hear. They're not trying to hear their wrongs. They're not trying to hear where they're going off at in the scriptures. Okay, they always write. They're never wrong and so on and so forth. But then you see these individuals eventually fall off or they get lukewarm. For instance, where have the good Samaritans been at? Okay. Now, they may be still around, but I doubt it because I haven't heard anything from them. So where are they? But they were the main ones. Okay. Talking crap. Can't take correction. Where are shy Israelites tried and refined? Okay. Where's uh, uh, Bequasha, 14th Street, Israelites? All these individuals who couldn't be corrected. Okay? And there's multiple individuals more. That's just who came to my mind right now. So it's grievous unto those that forsake the way. It's a, it, it comes off like it's an insult. Okay? But the only thing that's being insulted is your ego. Okay? Because this truth... It has no room for egotistical, prideful behavior. Okay? The scripture says, receive the word, the engrafted word, with meekness, which is able uh, to save your soul. Okay? So this word must be, be received in a humble fashion. Okay? You be thankful for the secrets and mysteries that Yahweh Bashima was shy revealed unto you. Be thankful. That Yahweh Bashima was shy, blessed you to be around the brothers in the Akim, and he gave you the spirit to go down to the camp and, and teach the people. Okay? Be thankful that you know his name and you know that mercy and grace is open unto you and your household. Okay? So that's why the word must be received with meekness. But proud individuals, they receive this word and they just run with it. Do whatever the hell they want to do. Be rebellious and disobedient in the camp. Okay? When you get cussed out, they get real squeamish. And you can see, you know, they ain't feeling it. Okay? But when in all actuality, it's set up to benefit you. Okay? So if you get in that spirit, when you're getting corrected and cursed out, you need to catch that shit immediately. Because that's a bad spirit. Okay? And don't just, and you can't con your way out of everything. OK, if you're going to say con, then you need to you need to take the correction with proper um, intention, man. OK. Don't just your con, con, but then everything going in one ear and not the other. OK. Or you going back behind brother's back saying how the correction wasn't warranted. OK. Saying you ain't do I ain't even do nothing, man. They always trying to get on somebody. That's bullshit. No, nah, man. The truth don't work like that, man. First and foremost, 
we 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 could we should be dead. Okay, let alone be able to preach the things that we preach and have hope in, in salvation. You know, the Lord could have put us down. Okay, He didn't have to wake us up. Okay, so yeah, there are forms of uh of correction. I'm doing a, I'm doing a lesson. I'm gonna catch up with you. Okay, there are forms of correction that the Lord will purposefully do and intend it directly for you to see how you're going to take it. Because remember, the Lord tries the reins. He searches the hearts and the interiors of man. OK, so, yeah, you could act like to, to others. You could act like you receive it. But your how about your was shot knows he knows your spirit. There was an individual who used to be in our camp who's no longer a part of us, and we had got corrected. This was over 10 years ago. We had got a stiff correction, okay, by some elders. And uh, the brother, you know, he couldn't get over it. You know, he couldn't get over it. And I was right there getting getting my ass chewed out too. Uh, but the point was he couldn't get over that stiff correction, and eventually it, uh, it leaked out, and he fell out the truth. So don't be one of those individuals who can't, lock in when things is being brought to you and i advise certainly you brothers to uh you know look 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 more into you know manly competitive nature uh vibrations too man okay get off of instagram and tiktok and facebook and meaningless social media platforms filling your mind up with bullshit okay for, for 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 a pastime or a hobby, look more into character building, manly, masculine, um, energy, vibrations, because you'll see that the nature of men is always to grow and to compete. Okay, but the person you're competing with is your old self. So how the hell are you gonna overcome your old self if you don't have anybody there to tell you certain things that you might need to work on? And even if it don't apply in that very instance, the Lord could just be giving you a heads up, okay, on a mistake that you could possibly make by that character flaw. So the Lord could be calling it out before you make a big mistake. So it's all about how you view the correction. Okay, brothers, it is, do you take it as you're being insulted or do you take it as the Lord is trying to level me up? And once you look at it like that, you'll be willing to receive whatever form of correction comes your way. Because it's for the betterment of your soul. It's for the betterment of you as a person, as a servant of your Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? So, I just wanted to drop that real quick. Lord willing, I wasn't doing too much rambling. I lose you, brothers. But, uh, yeah, man. Lock in and, and, and get in that vibration. Okay? So next time, I'll pray to see how about you, Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Honors and blessings to the elect. Shalom.